Now, an operation that sits right in the middle is called a sleeve gastrectomy. And the sleeve gastrectomy is actually an old operation that's making a big comeback now. And it, and it used to be part of a two-stage operation. And it was for people who were too big to have this done with the scopes. It wasn't safe to do a laparoscopic gastric bypass or a duodenal switch or one of these other operations. So what we would do is go in there and with our scopes identify this muscle, measure back about an inch, and then with our laparoscopic staplers start to divide the stomach. The staplers are a device that would go like a, um, a scissors and close and press the front wall against the back wall of the stomach, lay down six rows of staples, cut in between row three and row four. Okay, so we would, you know, close those ends and cut it at the same time. And then we would make another firing like this. And then anesthesia would pass down a tube, which was about as big as your little finger, through your mouth. And then we would hug that tube with our stapler until we had separated the main body of the stomach from this long tube. And then we would take out this part and give it to the pathologist. So this comes out of your body. It's gone, gone. Okay? And then anesthesia would take out their tube. And that was essentially the first stage of the operation. We would create this long, what's called a sleeve, in a very small stomach storage area down here, small meals. Okay, the operation works for two reasons. One, this is a very small pouch. Your meals are very small. And two, there's a hormone that's made in this part of the stomach, right here, right here, right here. Hormone called ghrelin, G-H-R-E-L-I-N, ghrelin. And that's a hormone that makes us hungry. It's a hormone that makes us think about food. It's a hormone that makes us seek our next meal. And by removing that part of the stomach, that hormone level goes very low. And so we have serious appetite suppression. I mean, to the point where it's like, oh, 9 o'clock, I haven't had supper. I better eat or I'll feel wimpy in the morning you know, where food becomes fuel again, you know, where you have to tell yourself that I need this much and this is what I'm going to eat, okay? So big time appetite suppression and, and small meals, and that's how the sleeve works. And the plan was, was say you get this 450 pound guy, you know, he would have this and lose 100 pounds and then you could do this, okay? Um, but what we're finding is that if we really work hard with the patients on some of these behavioral things. You know, to start to change how you cook, how you shop, how you manage your stress. You know, learn about, you know, what made this necessary. That it may be unlikely that we're going to need to do many second stages. Second stage, you bring them back. Bring this end up. And now it's just this, it's, okay? So, the second stage is available if you need it. But I, I think about the, the sleeve as a single stage primary bariatric operation.